Hello everybody, Hal Gamer 2000 and hopefully I might have said that on accident in the last video, but yeah, I've got, I gotta get used to saying that username because I changed my username and I probably have to keep mentioning that until I get used to it, so I'm the Ice Climbers because we did this whole section and now we're gonna play Infinite Glacier Icicle Mountain, so here we go. So I picked out two slow characters. I feel like we haven't used Samus yet, but uh, maybe I, I could be wrong. And uh, Gain is really slow, so I thought this would be a good stage to put him in. Because he's really slow. And DK might even be. They're all slow. <laughs> They're all slow, so this is basically climbing up. Big hill, and yeah, that's what you do, man. Pretty fun, huh? Some people don't like it, some people do. But in my opinion, I think it's great. Nobody's gonna get that. Maybe. I think I'm just gonna let them kill themselves while I just doodle around climbing. Because I'm an ice climber. Gosh sakes. And we're not really climbing right now, I forgot about that. I thought we had to climb the whole time for some reason. I guess I can fight a little bit. Nope. You guys ready? Ice. Climbers. I almost lost them. Wait, it's just me. Am I the girl? Or am I the boy? I think I'm the girl. Or I could be the boy too. Mm -hmm. And you can see Donkey Kong dyed his hair blue. <laughs> Interesting, huh? So yeah, I'm ahead. As you see, the heaviest characters have less lives, so you guys can tell that this proves that the fat ass characters are going to die on moving levels because they're slower. Where am I? Oh. Phil's going to be an ice climber. Oh, he speeds up. Have fun. Dying. Guys. <laughs> Have fun. Have fun. There's also another thing I want to mention that I'm going to do today. I'll mention in the last video. Did it for the day. Uh, today I had early dismissal. Okay, I, I'm, I'm going to tell a story today. So, out of nowhere, so today I wore my, um, I'm just going to mention this for no reason. Um, I wore my art shirt for the first time at school today. Well, technically, no. Because I got it from school. Then painted it in art class. Then I own it after we're done. And so now I wore it to school for the first time, for the full day. So I guess saying the full day would make more sense. And I didn't know we could get out. So anyway, back to the actual story. So in uh, first period today in class, so today was an, uh, for say, let's say, today was an early dismissal day, so we got out at 2.50, 12.50, I mean. 2.50 is a regular. And we also have early dismissal tomorrow because we have we have block days on Wednesday and Thursday. Odd number of periods and even number of periods. So yeah. And that happens like once a month we get early dismissal. So back to the story, um, So in first period today, I was it's hard to concentrate on the story. Yeah. Can I tell the story? I'm just gonna tell a story. And just... So in first period today, um, at near the end of the period, um, for some reason my stomach was hurting for no reason. I eat vegan most of my days. And I don't know how that could happen. Maybe I ate food poisoning? I don't know. 
But yeah, um, so that happened. So my stomach was really hurting, like really, really badly. That near the like fat last five minutes, I asked, "Can I go to the bathroom?" And she said, "Yeah, okay." And then I went, and then like, and it still hurt. I didn't even need to really go, too. And as I was walking to the bathroom, my eye vision was blurred out completely. I was like, whoa, it feels like I'm about to die, and it's that painful, too. Like, what the heck is happening to me? Can I eat something bad? Because I, I eat mostly vegan, so I don't eat unhealthy. Only on the weekends I eat whatever, because I'm at Great Grandma's house. But I haven't been at Great Grandma's house since, like, two weeks ago. So, yeah, that happens. I keep dying. But, um, not in real life, that's not part of the story, I mean, in the game. But, yeah, so after that, then, uh, so now, for after the first period, we go to the third period, because it's block period, it's on Wednesday. And, um, and that's what we did. We went to third period, and I was like, wow. We had a lot of work to do in third period, too, which made it even worse. So, yeah, we had to do work. A lot of work, a big packet for the project, and do research. But I really had to go to the nurse, so I asked if I could go to the nurse. Then, like, well, going to the bathroom, then go to the nurse, and being like, uh, yeah, talking to the nurse in the office. And uh, then I slept for a couple hours, and after when lunch started, I was back, nice, because I slept and I had a few dreams. There's another person sleeping beside me on the other side of the room. Cause I guess he was sick too. In a way. On the bed. Cause it was bed but different beds, you know? And it has like a curtain and so it's dark and it's not that loud. So yeah, it's a nice sleeping spot when you're sick during school. So there's like two beds. It's like kind of like it has that in middle school too. Um, so yeah, I slept for a couple hours and uh, I was better after when lunch started. But I didn't even get to eat lunch yet, so I probably should eat lunch after this recording. So I ate lunch. I mean, I probably ate like one piece of tofu and that's about it. I microwaved it, but microwave's really weak at the school, but it was strong in the beginning, but now it's weak all of a sudden, everybody's complaining about it, because it sucks, and all of that. So, yeah, after after that, then I was all better, and yeah. But the weird thing is, is that this is a pattern, because three, it's like a three-year pattern, a lot of people thought that was strange, because it's interesting. Because, uh, in one in third grade, and it's funny, because it was like around in June, I think, so it was like June one, I had the same exact feeling, and then I got sick and I had to go, I actually had to go home, but this time I didn't go home, because I was, I'm a little bit stronger now, so I didn't have to go home. It was only lasted for so long, so my stomach doesn't hurt that often anymore since I eat more vegan stuff, so, maybe two years ago it really hurt it like, like every two weeks, no. Rarely. One time, there was one day like a month ago where it hurt it like once. But that wasn't a big deal. There was like three phases, but the first phase was like the hardest. Because there's different phases when it stops hurting, then it hurts again. So yeah. Sorry if you guys have to go through that too. It's like a lot of people go through that. I'm about to win. I'm going to finish up the story before this ends. Um, I haven't really thought that much, but I'm winning. <laughs> this is for Ice Climbers. For Alaska. So yeah, um, the weird thing is it happened in third period. I remember it happened when I did a play. I remember it. The setting was like I was at a play and I got really dizzy. Like my vision got blurry and everything. And then that happened. Then I had to go home and stuff, and I probably threw up. But this time today I didn't throw up. And this story happened today. So yeah, the weird thing is I didn't. Um, I didn't throw up, but I thought I did. I don't know what happened with the umbrella there, but... But yeah, um... I didn't throw up like I thought I would. I threw up in like the 1st of September, I remember. Or the 1st of October. Around September or October. I threw up, because I haven't thrown up for like 3 years since then. So, yeah. 
And then in sixth period it happened, then I had to go home and sleep at Great Grounds for a few days, actually sleep for a few days. I had to drink and get better. And uh, that happened today, but it lasted only for a few hours this time because I ate vegan. So that's my story. You guys thought that was interesting because I knew what I was. I, I, I recognized the feeling, so I knew what I was doing because I used to wait and hope it get better, but I had to go now. So, yeah, that's my story. Hope you guys enjoyed my story and the gameplay, too, of course. So see you guys later for more Super Smash Brothers. Bye.